Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 3. Now, you know how the editor of this series wanted to have me wear the dream care throughout the entire game? What do you think about this editor? Unfortunately, it's going to be taking a while for me. And hopefully, I'll be able to get Stella's dungeon to make sure that I get this costume. So, never fear, because I'm going to save the day. Alright, so last episode we got introduced to all, and I mean all of the characters, and oh my god. Hmm, uh, maybe this is a bit too much. Whatever, let's get back into the game. I want to accept the request, exhausted and Sergeant Froggy. Okay, now we're actually going to start playing the game. I don't want to waste any more time. Hey! Yeah, baby! Huh? What's up, Ludy? There's a hole in your clothes, and they're all dirty, too. I cannot, I cannot stop voicing Plutia. I love it! Uh, I don't know if the editor will agree with me, but I love it. I don't know. A uh hole, -huh, you say? Well, holy moly, you're right. I fell, I fell from really high, so one or two holes should be expected. I'm not going to let it bother me. But it really bothers me. I'll patch it up for you. So go ahead and take your clothes off. Ah, uh, you can repair cloth, Louie? Could it be your secret skill? Uh-huh. I really love sewing. It's so much fun to start things with needles. Oh, that sounds dark. I, I see. You're some kind of gal, Plutie. Well, I want you to fix this, but I don't have anything else to wear. I can't stay around nude, you know. Oh, uh, I guess not. Okay, so... What kind of clothes do you usually wear, Nappy? Usually, huh? It's pretty tough to describe with normal words, but I like this. This, and, the, and these are those. Oh, I see. Uh-huh, I know. Wait just a minute. Oh my god! Ta-da! It's all done. That's the original parka! Yes! We got the original clothes back! Not for long. Oh, no, they're just like my little clothes! Size perfectly! Pluey! This is a work of an attrition! <laughs> More praise, please! I never would have expected the carefree, slow talking Pluey to have such a unique ability! Does that mean you also needled up all the plushies I see later out on this den, my good pal? Yep, I make one for every friend I have. I see. So you're gonna make one of me too? Of course I am. <laughs> I can't wait to stop my needles in a nappy plushie. Oh god. Uh, what's a strange feeling? I'm happy to hear that, but for some reason my tingly spine isn't. Ugh, what is he gonna do? It's like I'm gonna press up, press down on it, it's like... I gotta stop your needle! Stab, 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 stab! Ah! Or something like that. Huh. <sighs> my voice needs a break. Hey, hey, hey! Studio, you gotta limit how far out into, into space your mind goes. Huh? What's wrong? Your slippers, girl. You shouldn't wear those things outside of the house. Well, why not? They'll get all dirty and grimy. Get all dirty and grimy. You gotta put on some pumpkin's kicks while you you for sakes. Sorry. Gotta put out some pumped up kicks that you head outside. But you wear sneakers for you, but feet don't get dirty, right? 
That's what slippers do too. Uh, well, I mean, that's true, but you wear those inside the basilicum as well, don't you? In that case, you should get, you, you'll get the floor all muddy and whatnot. But, um, you're supposed to wear slippers inside the house, right? Well, yeah, if you look at it, the two concepts independently, sure, but you're not linking the two. It's useless, you know. She'll never change her sloppy ways. I'm not sloppy. I'm very efficient. Even though I just met you, I know that's a pants lighting lie. Pants igniting lie. <laughs> I busted. She always wears her, she always wears her normal clothes and pajamas. Never goes her hair. And she does whenever possible. The legend of Sloppy Bluey is unfolding one item after another. Oh no, she's secretly Neptune in disguise. She actually lazes around like her. Ah! Her? But, but, I take a path every day. True. True. I left alone and get soak in the tub for hours until you turn into a plutonium prune. Yeah. <coughs> Yay! Because gloves and baths are the ultimate relaxation combo. My voice is completely gone. If you're not careful, that could be dangerous. I wonder if she can cut it at the CPU. Maybe I'll let cold and push her away from me for once. Oh, why? Don't abandon me. I see. So this dimension, Noir, has a tough time taking care of others, too. Could it be... No. There's no way I caused Noir any trouble back home. I wouldn't think so. You know what? I'm gonna cut, pause the footage, and the next time you see me, I am gonna this have a... This is what ninjas do best. All right. The next time you see me, I'm gonna have a fresh sounding voice, alright? End of story, you get some, you lose some. But I'll just get the mission done and over with so you don't have to see me doing anything, alright? As soon as you get back, as soon as I get back, you're gonna hear a brand new voice. I'm probably gonna take a break for a couple of hours, but it'll only take like a second for you. Three, two, one. Ah! Screw it, alright? Screw it. I'll do things on my own. <clears throat> A hard day's working out and then. Good job, Hunter, you two. Hooray for working hard! The back of my mind is saying that this really isn't a CPU's worthy work. Doing odd jobs, increasing shares. True, most ordinary citizens. Take on quests to make a bit of money. I don't know how to do any kind of work except for this, so... That's okay, you're still doing this whole CPU thing. <laughs> you're so nice to me. But you do need to get more confident. Otherwise, your people are going to forget your ability. I take it back. You're being strict again. Excuse me, ladies. What? Is this CPU something you become? You're just not... You're not just born one? What? Of course you're not. Ugh. I was supposed to become a CPU myself, but... You'll see someday. I'll become the CPU of my own nation. And that's why I won't even hold a candle to it. Go for it, Noir! You should at least say that you won't lose to me, your greatest rival. Or there's no competition. <laughs> Which reminds me, we haven't seen her today. Are you talking about Lu- Were you talking about, uh, Blonde? I noticed that the Louis shares were at- were red. But she does have her own nation, so... Oh, wait, no. 
They can't be talking about Iswar. They can't talk. They, they can't. They can't be talking about Iswar. I know Eblon already has has a nation because I looked at the Louis shares. Whoa! Hey, too much subject jumping. So, like, you're turning to a CPU. Is it bad if someone, if anybody can become one? It's not easy. So it's not a problem. Seriously, what's wrong with you? This is basic common knowledge. It's not my common knowledge. Me, Nub Jr., and everyone else were born CPUs. You were born that way? Wow, that's so neat. I told you to stop believing everything this girl says. Man, this is so crazy. I feel like I've literally fallen down to a different world. I'm curious, though. How do you become a CPU? Does something good come from it? I can't believe you're just ignorant. I gotta of you. Whatever, it's not a way, but I'll explain it to you. Yay, I'm not, about, I'm not pumped about how you phrase it, but do go on. <laughs> First, you need a CPU memory which is found inside a memory core. Oh, like a class change item. Kind of boring name, so. Are you aware drops? Beyond where, legendary. Only a few memory cores exist, and they only produce CPU memories once every couple of centuries. Centuries? Pretty balls for a, pretty balls for a respond time. Only CPU shot into a camp for weeks can get it. The universe is still randomized. So it does not so it's not like you can set a clock for the next one's arrival. If you really want one, I guess you could camp for it, like you said. But competition is kind of light. And there's a memory card near this place. <gasps> I see. I see. I need to. I need to take a break after this. I see. So you were hanging on to by the. So you were hanging out by the CPU memory, Bluey. Man, I bet there was such a swashbuckling fantasy man like to claim it. There's all pretty battles over it. I just said there aren't a lot of people looking for one. I stumbled upon mine when I was going on a lovely picnic. Uh, it was that easy? I don't get it yet. Keep on with the explainings. Well, the weather was really nice that day. And I decided to open up my basket by the river. Oh, stop right there! Don't remind me of that day! The sheer terror of... Of, uh, I felt the first time Pluidia activated HDD. Terror, you say? Uh, forget it, let's get back on topic. You need that item to turn into a CPU, but that doesn't mean anyone with it can become a CPU. Only people born with certain qualities are eligible. So if someone lacks it, so if someone lacking those tries. Yeah, yeah, if they try, they'll turn into a monster. I mean, it's so very table. When I was told that they would turn into a hideous monster. Oh, great. Sounds terrifying. What gives? It's rare to to get the item. And even if someone does, they might be monstrified instead. That's a pretty big risk. You would have some brave. You'd have some brave guts to want to be to want to be a CPU, Pluty. Oh, I didn't really want to. I picked it up and thought it was my rice ball. So I ate it. Wow. I said, don't remind me. It is risky, but I think there's some merit to becoming a CPU. First of all, you could go and found your own nation. Huh? So the CPUs make the nations? Not to the way around? Oh, I know what you mean. Did the chicken or the egg hatch first, right? Yeah, kinda, sorta. But anyway, whichever is first, it all ends up the same, right? Not to interrupt your physical, philosophical blessings, but I'm going to keep talking. Second, you gave divine powers. And those 
and with those powers, you'll protect the guide humanity. If you do a good job, we'll love with you and not increase your powers further. See, that guys with what I know about CPUs. For the longest time, there was only one CPU in existence and ruled the only nation around. What was the name? And so fine for those who believe in her, but many disagree with and have no faith in the CPU. Life outside of her nation borders can be pretty hard to endure. That's why I want to become a CPU and give those people a new nation for them to believe in. That's exactly the type of motivation class president Noir would have had. You're so cool, Noir. But then Plutia beat me to it. And she wasn't even trying to be a CPU. Oh, I already apologized for that about one gajillion times. Uh, I see, I see. I think I kept most of it most of at least half of it thanks but if that's how it is here i guess i don't need to be a cpu kind of frustrating that i can't change forms but it isn't really that big of a deal besides if i became a cpu it became a have to do have to do more work and i'm tired of doing all that forced labor i must hurry and become a cpu and it'll kill me if i turn into an old hag while plutius stays young wow Aww, you'll be okay. You'll be a cute old lady, Noir. Noir, spinster edition. Ha ha ha, I paid to see that. But seriously, I doubt you'd be cute. You'll probably wear floral moo-moos and, uh, and lecture. Gage, gage, gage. Hey, stop the presses! Why, don't shut Noir, you're getting older. I mean, why? What do you mean, why? That's how the Conscience of Time works. W what do you think I am? No, 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 I mean, Pluto will always look like that. I'm a CPU now, so I'm always going to look like this. Uh-oh, hold up, so unless I become a CPU here, I'm going to get all this stuff too, right? Yes, that is how the Concept of Time works. Nappy, we were born far... Born way far away from books and language? Nope, that won't do it all. This won't do it all. I like being young and adorable. But letting myself become all sexy and busty wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> Still, I get all that sexiness when I transform. And we we'd only really need one old hack at a party. I have no idea what you're talking about. How am I supposed to respond to your insane ramblings? That settles it. I'm gonna become a CPU. Again! For the approximately 240 million members of the Nip Nip Fan Club, I remember that, I vow to keep my current figure. Ooh, spy. You're going to become a CPU too? If it were that easy, I've already become one. I'll already be one, you know. You have no idea how hard I've been trying. So basically, if we find that memory thing, I call dibs, and then you can get one noir. Excuse me? Where did you get off deciding that? No, come on, make characters always get priority. I mean, even if you become a CPU, you won't be all that popular. Plus, Thus, Nip Nip gets dips. Whatever. I know I'd be way more popular than you. I'm not giving my item to you. Well, you are popular, but not that popular. Yay. I hope all three of us get to be CPUs. Huh. 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 Yeah, bah, 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 bah. Okay. Mysterious Halo. Alright, if you liked the video, check out the annotations at the end of the video. As always, I'll see you in the next one.